Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. I'd like to share with you this company called DocuSign. Okay, this company, what happened is yesterday the, the share price dropped 29% after hours. They just released their financial report. We take a look of their financial report. Both of you can see here, both of their revenue and also earning per share here exited the forecast more than they did what the 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 market has ex, uh, expected, but how come the share price drop of twenty nine percent is quite a sharp drop? So I see also quite surprised. The reason being is uh what I see uh, what I observe in the stock market right now in the U.S. stock market, I can see some bubble behavior already happening in the in the stock market, and especially when this kind of uh when the the Fed turned to become more hawkish. Uh. All these high PE company, you see, 4 PE, 133. Uh, the, the market seems they don't really like this kind of stock anymore. It's not, they are not in the flavor anymore. This company, what they, de what they do is they help, they help their customer to enable, enable the user to do agreement, uh, to, to provide legal binding e-signature. So consider a pandemic kind of stock uh, because nowadays people, uh, the banks every, actually also use their service to meet customer, uh, to virtually meet customer and also do a e binding So you see this company, the share price raise from here to zero, yeah, the time when pandemic hit, then up to 200, then now Today will drop to 160 something. So it's a very sharp drop, very sharp drop. Another company I observe in the stock market has this uh, bubble behavior. It's called Zillo. This company also up a lot since uh, when the pandemic start 25 up to 200, then now all the way to 55. Another company called Pelotons, Peloton. So this this company also is a pandemic stock. You see, pick uh from twenty something to hundred something. Then now is uh forty something. All these company has one common. You can see their fundamental has one common uh things is they don't have any earning. They can't prove that their company business model are able to generate any profit. So that's the thing in the stock market right now. When when Fed become more hawkish, they turns they tends to be reducing the bond purchase in the stock market. You can see the market actually prefer some company that have a strong can prove strong cash flow, strong free free cash flow and also have a long-term growth uh, company can still sustain this kind of environment and so i have two company i actually personally invested i also see that next year it can actually do quite well because when the fed is doing this uh fed the the bond purchase uh tempering the next thing they're going to do is after they finish the tempering they will start beginning to raise the interest rate so when the market has less and less money, I foresee that the loan for the banks, uh, the Bank of America or JP Morgan or this company, they can benefit from this uh, environment. Because inflation, we know inflation is very high. So Fed has no choice to tackle inflation. What they need to do to tackle inflation is stop printing money first. That's the first thing they need to do. Then second thing is, they need to slowly raise the interest rate to meet, uh, to to make the inflation coming down back to their two percent target. So that's the thing they will need to do. So when this thing happen, the bank, the banking sector will actually benefit. So what I see is I personally like these two company, JP Morgan and Bank of America. Of course, the the risk. For this call is, uh, we need to take a look of the variance to see whether this American variance 
can do any harm to our society or not? Can actually, can our vaccine still be effective to fight this variant? If let's say we, our vaccines prove to be ineffective and uh, this variant can cause a lot of harm. I mean, the hospitalization rate, all this will go up again and the death rate is higher than the, than the Delta variant. Then the country need to go back to lockdown or other things to tightening all this. Of course, overall, it will affect. The first thing it will impact is the banks or market. So when you look at the currently the market, how they price their the risk is you can look at this ten year yields. Uh, it was before the news came out. Before the new variant came out, it was uh one point six percent, and now it dropped to one point four percent. So this one mean to say the the market is actually quite worried of this variant. If let's say this variant proved to be just like a normal flu kind of things, and eventually it will, I don't know, our vaccines can still prove effective against them. Uh, to protect us from, you know, going to be hospitalized and all this. Huh? I believe the bond yield will react first, and tonight is the. There, that they will, the 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 report will come out to see whether the U.S. the unemployment rate will continue to fall, fall, fall below the expectation. So it will actually benefit this, uh, this ten years you and also it will benefit the banking stock, banking sector. Uh, meaning to say that the Fed has uh, already done his part to tackle the unemployment problem. Uh, now it's 4.6%, maybe this time around can hit 4.4 or maybe 4.2, I'm not too sure. So tonight we need to see what is the data and to see how it react on the banking uh, company. So this is my small sharing about uh, my view on how to invest on, on the in the stock market next year. If you, less, if you think that uh, the interest rate will go higher, uh, this this the banking company, banking stock, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, US Bank Corp, all these uh, US Bank, very, very big banks uh, can actually benefit from this uh, raise of uh, interest rate. So this is my sharing. Hope you like my video. Uh, help me to share and also subscribe. Thank you so much.